They say in fairy tales, dreams come true. But for the Tofty family, the dream was bringing the fairy tale to life. Once upon a time, on the hills south of Salem, Enchanted Forest was built and has entertained guests for more than 50 years. How do they do it? We're here to find out. We're traveling the state to find the weird and wonderful jobs people do. I'm Corey Jenkins, and this is Oregon Odd Jobs. Whether you're a kid or a kid at heart, Enchanted Forest has you covered. From Fantasyland Kingdoms, to nursery rhymes come to life, to the frontier, the theater, thrill rides, a haunted house, and countless nooks and crannies to explore. Well, it's the stuff dreams are made of. And it all depends on a crew of employees of all ages to keep things running smoothly. Today, I was gonna get a taste of just a few of the jobs they do. My first stop was with a little old lady, a shoe, and the head of HR. Jamie, how long have you been here at Enchanted Forest? Uh, 10 years this spring. 10 years? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what, what does your workforce look like? We employ, I would say, probably up to 300 people in a summer. It's a variety of college students, high school students, and we get teachers and bus drivers. How do you keep them safe when you have so many new workers? There's just a lot of talk around safety. Safety is actually the park's number one priority. And so they have to go through safety training. Every single team member does. We talk about that with each position they get trained in. Mm. So it's something that they're hearing all the time. So what do I get to do today? So I think we're gonna learn the shoe slide today. Shoe slide? The shoe slide, yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Ah, the shoe slide. One of the original and most popular attractions in the park, which comes with a unique employee safety hazard. You see, once the mats are placed, the employee holds on as the guests sit down, which runs the risk of getting hit in the face. We have to watch for their elbows, so we want to make sure that we are always just keeping our eyes on them at, at all times, that you lean back and that you lean away opposite from where the elbows are. So that way I make sure that I don't get elbowed in the face. <laughs> wow. How real is the elbow hazard? Well, I placed the mat, hung on, and yeah. It's a real thing. But so is the joy of a guest enjoying the shoe slide, which I had to find out myself a few times. That is really fun. Now, there are other rides at Enchanted Forest that take a bit more skill, like the Challenge of Mondor a dark ride in which guests must vanquish the forces of evil with their trusty light gun and defeat as many monsters as they can while attempting to get the high score. Master of the realm, right here. I now face the challenge of Alyssa to get the ride ready for the day. We do a morning checklist to make sure that there's no wires on the track or um, things that might have fallen off. We also, in the morning, check the exit signs. So we walked the track, checking the animatronics, looking for debris, and making sure, in case of emergency, there was a clear way out. Once done, we powered up the cars for action. Okay, so let's say we're in the middle of the ride, some mm -hmm. kid gets off. Yes. If they go in front of the ride, it will automatically stop because yes. of the sensor. But then you're also, what are you doing over here? So I am watching the monitors. If we see like a stopped car on the track, we can press the general stop. An emergency stop would be like a fire or mm -hmm. anything electrical. Where so. like one of the dragons goes rogue and starts trying to eat yeah. the guests. <laughs> So multiple ways to address different problems that can happen. Yeah. And it sounds like you have a lot of training like in place to make yes. sure that everybody learns what they need to learn. Yes, so I think normally for Mondor, you train about a month, just so that you're familiar with how the ride operates. Well, I didn't get the month long training, but they let me push the button anyway to send the first batch of guests on their way. Fighting the forces of evil worked up quite an appetite. So I headed down to Ma and Pa's barbecue to grab a bite and talk to a longtime employee. 
So I'm here with Marissa, and Marissa, how long have you worked here? This is my fifth season working here. How old were you when you started? I started when I was 16. You were 16. Yeah. Wow. So like as a 16 year old coming on the job, how did Enchanted Forest like help train you to keep you safe? You know, I started off kind of in like slides, park sweeping, you know, I kind of worked my way up and every single time I was like set with a new task, you know, I would always have someone above me that trained me, went through a hands-on experience, you know, showing me how to do everything. My first seasons, I was always the one being trained. And now that I'm in the trainer, you know, I'm always like, you know, feel free to stop me anytime, ask me questions, you know, even if it's like your second day, you know, third day, just ask me questions because I know they come up during the time, not just the first day, you know, so. Well, it was my first day, and I was sure I would have lots of questions as I was put to work serving up pretzels. Like, how do you get the salt on the pretzels? How do you get the oven to close properly? Is there a trick? <laughs> you kind of just have to go like up and down. And how do you monitor the temperature for food safety? But not how to boost pretzel sales. Get your pretzels! <laughs> Hot pretzels! We got classic, we got jalapeno, we got cheese, mustard. <laughs> well, I'm more of a churro guy. So I grabbed one on my way to the theater. This season's production was Snow White and the Seven Dorks. Today, I was hanging out with the evil queen who was gonna teach me about safety on the stage. All right, we're here at the theater with Bentley. Bentley. Bentley, Good how long you. have you been? How long have you been working here? And so this is my 14th year, and I hold the record for most shows. I'm over 2,500 now. 2,500 shows? Yeah, over. Yeah. So uh, tell us about some of the safety protocols you put in place to keep from getting injured during your very physical show. Yeah, um, you learn bits and stages. You like the forward fall, uh, like off the back of the door. You learn by starting here, and learning to like roll through your hands and then it becomes like a controlled push-up. If we look at the stunt slowly, you can see what he means. He may be falling, but he has full control of his body. Now, let's learn about the door hit. So like, I'm coming home from over here, and I go, oh, oh. Snow White, get out here. Oh. And then you turn around on the door, you're posed. <laughs> and then she walks there and then she stays there and then you oh, oh, wow. oh well now it was my turn to get in the corner so this is how you always sort of measure at the beginning of the summer Ooh, that is close but you're not getting hit right no all right how much room is back there not much so in the midst of the play how does the person behind the door know when to swing it out it started with snow white get out here and that's the cue. Yeah. And then once we got comfortable, it just becomes Snow White, get out here. And when I say here. That's the cue. Here it is, in action. <sighs> Snow Dina, get out here. <laughs> well, a new show was starting soon, so it was time to say our goodbyes. Well, thanks, Bentley. Yeah, um, absolutely. Super cool to see an inside look of how it's all put together. And uh, my pleasure. may you have another thousand shows under your belt in the next oh. 20 years. So what did we learn today? Well, sometimes hazards can be unexpected and require extra thought to keep employees safe. Having backup systems reduces the chances of workplace injury. Asking questions when starting a new job is not only good, but should be encouraged. And sometimes good safety requires good coordination and communication. But most of all, we learned just how fun the Enchanted Forest can be. <laughs> so that's Enchanted Forest, and they all lived happily ever after. We'll see you next time on Oregon Odd Jobs. Mm -hmm.